Well, good Sunday, good day, and shame. Time for some more of these episodic games. And now we shall tackle Tackle King's Quest. Yeah. Uh, chapter one uh, Knight to Remember. Is inventory nice graphics? No. Very cartoonish, don't you think? But I like it. to do that. I guess I do. It's a well. Uh, well. What? Uh, uh, uh. So deep down to the well we shall go. I had not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Oh no, that's Emmett Brown, Dr. Emmett Brown. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Why not take some gold anyway? Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Hmm. Right, that's this. Address. A very small door. Should we go in there? I felt that didn't church everything. Hmm, well. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Okay. Jump. Always a good thing. I feel that no. Ah. It changes our music and uh. two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. I decided this was no time to take a nap, even though that bed looked very squishy and very comfortable. That first. What does this do? You know, let's just try everything. Ooh. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. Right. <laughs> let's pull the right one then. You know, just wanted to see what would happen. What's with all the beds here, anyway? Yeah. Okay. Ah, it's bells. 
butter churns and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. Yeah. It all seems so familiar. Buckets, right. barrels, butter churns. Oh the beds were dude, jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Okay. Um. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide under the covers. What? But I want to hide under the covers. As I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. Oh, is it? All right. I took a brief rest before I decided to adventure on with that very important treasure. Really? Okay. Napping on the job. Achievement unlocked. Someone is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. There's something big up ahead. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth, the claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes! King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. Right. Arrow there. Let's continue forward. Wait a minute. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. All right. <laughs> Volumes of old books. With foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon. Breaking the spirit of hideous beasts. Amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. Really? No? No, nothing. Nothing like that. Guilty! I took a second nap. <laughs> Is that the missing handle? So, the missing handle was booby trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. Right. Then I use my cleverness to hide. Right. 
Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Like us. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tethered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to fix the... The thing. Alright. Ta-da! Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. That's a, that's a good this thing. cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Can we take this wall? This cave no. seemed to be filled with failed adventures. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Yeah. Okay, what the hell? Okay, I have to avoid that. You see? Got to the left or the here? I don't know. Oh, bad idea. <laughs> yeah, definitely left. We marched right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still paying attention. Here, Mr. Dragon or Lady Dragon. Or she is it he or she? I don't know. Well, let's continue. 
company on this way then, because this seems to be the right way to go. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Alright. Well, we are not going to be able to go that way. <gasps> a bow! Ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. How about this then? So, who owns the beast? Do we get out of here? Why? 
epic. Beautiful. With the magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. <laughs> like it's ever that easy. But here we go through the tiny, tiny door again. Oh. Split second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Uh. Huh? Okay. could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever yes. since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. Hmm, right then. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. How did you know shooting the bell would distract him? Over the years, I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was very hungry. I, too, would be violently angry if I could only eat when my neglectful owner rang the bell. I know it was a sneaky trick, but I certainly wasn't going to set a dragon loose on the town or participate in any more abuse. You really thought that through, Grandpa. I would have tricked him, too. Back home, they call me Gwendolyn the Smarty Pants. You come from a long Smarty line pants. of logically minded nobles and one very clever dentist. Dentist? All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been. Though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. All right. <clears throat> it's not morning yet. That's her room. What 
the... Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Oh, yes, the legendary beast he outsmarted with its own dinner bell. I don't know if he forgets that I've heard that story before or if he just doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. Oh. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Oh, lots of potions. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all... I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. <laughs> there are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... An act of kindness, even, in victory. A deft maneuver, a quick with that destruction. Taking a problem in a different way. Finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I'd seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. I one that only the best needs to have a night for details. Sure. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. What is that? Is that a black... Okay, we can control. Oh. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Okay. Wait. Wait. Now which way should we go? Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. 
I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. So he is the lot if I go west. <laughs> Our thing Grandpa, is... you can't leave Triumph. Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Right. After all that graceful repelling, I was certainly not headed back that way. Okay. So Triumph will come later. Do we have anything in our... Only money to my name. Five. They have five gold pieces. So track here. Hmm. The bridge is out. And there's knights. Sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Well, well, that odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Um. Let's go and find it then. <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, like this seems like a good idea, of course. Go on a dark path to the forest. Without our mighty steed. Triumph Strange or whatever it is. Tracks blaze the trail to the forest. There's a bunny there. Kick the bunny. What? No, don't kick the bunny. <gasps> More bunnies. Oh, weird creatures anyway. Whatever they are. What's that there? Mailbox? Uh, a ribbit. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Really? I'm going to use it on everything I can. Because, you know... Anything else? I want to use it on everything, you know. See. For using responsibility. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Indeed it does. So now we go deeper. 
Hello. Stand back, you dirty thieves! Wah! What the? Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard Are to pronounce. Unicorns? You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no! Why does What's wrong with your foot? <laughs> Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Oh, or a... Oh, oh. Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day. And just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. What? what? Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Um. Just a little oomph here, a little elbow grease there, and ah, nabs it! Oh, can this? I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! <laughs> unicorns. Get <gasps> that blade away from my unicorns, I'm warning you! What? Hey, stop it! Those unicorns may look cute and cuddly, but they are ferocious fighters when provoked! Oh, I want to see that. My unicorns have little use for such material things. I, on the other hand, am happy to earn your life savings. I mean... You do that one more time and I won't be able to quell Mr. Fancy Cake's vehement temper! Mr. Fancy Cake's... Hey! Uh. <laughs> How did his cake what? taste, Mr. Fancy Cakes? He ate us. Okay. Hello, what's here? A cave. A dark cave. I get onto this. We are not supposed to be in this part of the story yet. Where did that what? river lead to? That is a story for another day. Wait, what? Okay. Well. Righty then. That way then. Guess we need to use the hatchet on. That or do we need to go and get the, the you know, the wheel? From here? The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. Hmm. The wheel was already broken. No sense rubbing it in. So we... Ok, 
can't use that. Me a wheel boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Anything big and round. So perhaps it was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Well, I think we used that shit. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. <laughs> yeah, more doctor. Oh, great. Uh... Okay. Here, kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty. Seems like a waste of money. Oh, here we go. No, I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. We didn't. Yes. No wheels are there. Still no wheels. Right. What's here? into a patch of spiniferous thorn weeds. Well, uh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so I <laughs> So no wheels there. Did the path continue? Or do we need to use the hatchet? The path continues. An overgrown patch the spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to the water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Okay. I'm not getting there then. Already at the castle? Or the town we were going into? <coughs> and what are those, those claw marks? And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Oh. Uh -huh. There we go. Oh. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? Probably. Maybe close the door, because it was closed. A bakery. And here's that sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Oh, we can put 
able to do that. Uh -huh. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. <laughs> what, oh, really? I think we should pay. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. use of bread. It's, yeah, I don't believe it. Let's see what else we can find here. I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. I couldn't figure out that combination. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Oh, sorry. Against the knickknacks was a little collection tray with a sign asking for tips. I saved my money for a better opportunity. Okay. So we are going to use the bread as a wheel. Really? Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. Like a blacksmith shop of swords. Yeah. They shouldn't be like thick. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. Uh. I borrowed enough for the day. Wait, but the Can we go and put the bread back and take that? I took my money back. <laughs> I put the bread back and went looking for a new wheel. Yeah, because why would we use a bread as a wheel? I mean, this shield seems much, much better. Unless we can actually find a wheel somewhere. Let's see. Hello, can I squeeze by you gents? No, we are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. Mm. Stop being useless and help us watch for thieves. Right. Let's take the shield. Big round. That should do the trick. Let's leave some money in. I decided to leave some coins for the shield. And then.
So that's everything we can do here. to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this go. might do the trick. A shield, eh? Whoa, it matches impeccably with the delicately crafted color scheme of this entire operation. Makes quite the bold statement. Mm-hmm. Just like my shorts. This is perfect. <coughs> I hope I didn't pay too much for it. Oh, wait. Before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Sounds oh, good. sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Right then. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Uh, th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Yeah, right. So there's a missing, missing bridge. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Okay. Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? Kyle They're and off Larry. duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Right. So, so we just have to go and find our own way then. This is not a wise Come idea. Me, bees. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Nothing happened. Hmm. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. 
Um, Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe this tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Not good. Please! <laughs> Please! Please! All right. We can talk to Mind these if guys. I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <clears throat> your hero is thinking. Well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. You look like a little man who wants to do big things. Yes. Leave me alone, guys. I'll figure this out by myself. A rope. Oh. Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, so we have to do it now. Uh, or not. Hello. Okay, now that big guy is going to push this, right? Second, I have the perfect plan. You do? Another horn and another missing piece. Hmm. I guess we can go this way now. Me. Oh. Hello, the frog. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Really? Okay, let's chop down it. Oh. 